In our Family First segment, we are talking about getting kids back on track toward a healthier lifestyle after what's been a challenging year. According to a recent study in the journal Pediatrics, there's been a slight uptick in childhood obesity during the pandemic. Experts say now is a good time to make changes. During the pandemic, uh, our whole lives have been turned upside down. Registered dietitian Donna Quincy says some kids are spending 12 to 15 hours or more on their screens, leading to weight gain and even depression. Whether it be uh, school or and then when they're done with school, they continue with the screen time. Kids are just, you know, they do it all day and then they take their phones into their room. They have TVs in their bedroom. These are all really bad habits. How do we get back on track? Well, I think, you know, now that we, the a beautiful weather is now upon us and we really need to make, you know, taking the break from the screen time a priority. Quincy recommends scheduling a set time for everyone in the house to shut off their screens. So parents really need to be role models and to do the same and get outside and stop using the screen. We've all heard how important it is to sit down and have a meal together as a family, but that's not always easy to do. Exactly. So, you know, when I when parents tell me that, I always say, you know, if if your baseline is that you never sit as a family, maybe try doing, you know, one one meal a week. Studies have shown that children eat better. Um, they make better choices when people are eating at the table. Another thing that's been thrown off during this pandemic, sleep schedules. Because the school day has been as flexible, they're staying up late into the night. Um, they're not as tired because they're not doing all that physical activity. She says fatigue can contribute to weight gain. When sleep is disrupted, that also can impact our appetite and make us want to eat more um, and crave some of those sweet, junky type of foods. Well, she stresses the importance, of course, of eating a five servings of fruit and vegetables every day to help keep the immune system strong. And when it comes to beverages for kids, she says stay away from all those sugary drinks and opt for water or low-fat milk. You can find out more at RochesterFirst.com.